Hey, hey everyone, this right here is my review of Ghostbusters Afterlife. Before I get into my thoughts, very brief synopsis for you. This new installment of the franchise focuses on a family of three. There is Carrie Coon, who plays Callie, and also her two kids, Finn Wolfhard's Trevor and McKenna Grace as Phoebe. The three of them are forced to move to Somerville, Oklahoma, and into this real creepy house left to them by Callie's father. While they're there, they wind up discovering his connection to the Ghostbusters and also what he was busy doing out there. I will just get this out of the way right up top here. I didn't really like the movie a whole lot, and it does seem that that puts me in the minority on this one. There were some things that I really did like about the film. For example, the atmosphere was great, and I found that there was a real warmth to the visuals and the color palette that I thought played very well. And also, the visual effects look good. I think that it winds up being something that has the, the charm and the style of the 80s original, but also updates them to appease modern audiences at the same time. But more than anything here, I loved McKenna Grace in this movie. Just blows my mind that she's 15 and has already proven quite a few times that she is one of the best of her generation by far and is just bound to achieve big things. And now you can add her work in Ghostbusters Afterlife to that list. There's just a ton of moments in this movie where you can really feel her physicality and her line delivery making things work. Her timing is spot on. She's staggeringly natural in this wild situation and also has a uniquely charming chemistry with a number of the characters in this film. And another thing that I really appreciated about her work here is how she manages to highlight the past and the importance of it and also carve a path forward for her character, but doing that without actually stating that she's doing so. And I highlight that particular quality of her work because one of my biggest issues with Ghostbusters Afterlife is just how heavy it is on the fan service. And, you know, listen, I do love Ghostbusters, but it's not my franchise like, let's say, Scream or Jurassic Park is. And admittedly, I have been wondering if I got a story like this for one of my favorite franchises, would I like it? And, you know, maybe I would. I do think I have to be open to that possibility, but that's just not the case here. A new Ghostbusters movie with nonstop nods to the original just wasn't going to cut it for me without a strong original story and without new characters who feel like whole people, minus at least McKenna Grace's Phoebe in this. I do really love Finn Wolfhard, and I think he is a hugely talented actor. He's just not given all that much to do here, and the stuff he is given feels kind of bland to me. Carrie Coon, on the other hand, gets a little more to play with, and some of her, I guess I'll just call it some of her bigger moments here, they're a whole lot of fun, and the same goes for Paul Rudd. There's also Celeste O'Connor as Lucky, Trevor's crush, they really caught my eye last year in the movie Freaky, and I was really excited to see them in this, but similar to Wolfhard's role, there just isn't that much there, and, and I was pretty disappointed by that. I am going to give Ghostbusters Afterlife two and a half Deweys out of five on the Dewey Decimovie scale. And listen, I know there are so many super passionate Ghostbusters fans out there who are gonna love this movie. And if that's you, I am genuinely thrilled for you. But, you know, I always promise to be honest with you guys. And as much as I wanted to love Ghostbusters Afterlife, as much as I, I wanted to be cheering as loudly as some of the others in the audience at that New York Comic-Con screening, I, I just couldn't. There is something about the way that that fan service is delivered in the movie that I found makes you feel left out if you don't share that same enthusiasm. And I think that comes from the fact that those nods are fairly heavy handed, but even more so because there just isn't all that much to this Ghostbusters movie beyond its connection to the original. 
Yes, I, I do love returning to my favorite franchises, but I also get really excited when a new installment of a franchise packs the power to maybe reinvigorate a dormant fan or add to the fandom by bringing in new viewers. And to me, at least, it doesn't really feel like this Ghostbusters movie achieves that. And, you know, that kind of thing bums me out. Might not have the same effect on you, though. So if and when you see Ghostbusters Afterlife, hit that comment section below. Do share your own thoughts there. I'm so curious to know what you think about this one. And as always, I gotta give a Patreon shout out here. This one is going to a very special individual that you probably know because it's Billy. Billy, thank you so much for your continued support here and also for just being you. You know what I think about you, my friend. You are a mighty kind individual and I appreciate having you part of the Patreon community. You are the best. Big thanks to everybody out there now for watching this review. Do not leave this video without liking and sharing it, please. And stay tuned. Got more reviews coming your way soon.